Hey folks, it's Jern. Welcome to new series of Earth of Iron 4 with beta patch. Not even beta, it just got released today. So with the patch 1.1 Red Ball Express. And we're gonna have a lot of fun because we decided to play as the United Kingdom and actually going for two achievements. The first one will be, of course, One Empire. And the second one will be uh, New World Order, which is basically that every country are fascist in the world, any country left if there's any and uh, we should be able to do that fine because once we become fascist uh, Canada, let me see, Canada, South Africa and Australia will leave we only have Raj, the British Raj that we'll need to convert to the right to ideology but we can probably do that fine and uh, yeah generally speaking uh, we'll just need to destroy everyone in the world so hmm we sure want to be fascist for that all right, so let's start with the first thing first. Let's go for setting up some researches. We have four free slot for research. Let's go for mechanical computing, uh, basic machine tools and construction. And the last one will actually go and grab uh, the support weapons for 1918, whatever, just to increase the power of our troops and all of that. We got a couple of free civilian factories. We actually have 34 with 15 uh, being used for consumer goods. So we'll just uh, build up. We don't really need more civilian factories. So let's just start militarizing up ourselves up and build a couple of these uh, military factory around here where they, they should be safe from danger, hopefully. We got some free military factories. Hmm, good question what we want to build because uh, we have a lot of stuff. It's a pretty huge country when you think about it. So we'll actually go to uh, eight of uh, infantry factories one more support factory and we'll probably will want some bombers my strategy will be to build a lot of fighters and bombers to defend ourselves so we will add up into that and now we can also build up our little fleets so we got some destroyers i don't like destroyers they're kind of crap in the new version but oh well we'll still use them we'll just send them up into the Mediterranean fleet uh, this class will go into home fleet this class will join up North Fleet, I guess. I don't know where it is, but we'll need we'll need these guys. We we'll also have a couple of submarines being built for the third submarine flotilla, and we have a light cruiser here ready for mm, the New Zealand division. Another light cruiser that will set up in the Northern Patrol, and a third light cruiser that will be going into China Fleet, and we can actually increase the. Uh, speed at which we build these light cruiser let's build three for the new zealand division a couple more more around here we still have uh two free factories so let's put them down into the submarine so that's nice we took care of production as for the ideology there's no way for the british to change the way they're thinking through the tree so we'll actually just focus on limited rearmament and go down the tree that way to uh Take everything we can get from that. We have very, 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 very bad manpower, but that's okay. And we're lacking some oil, so we'll actually start trading for some oil with uh, our good friends, the Americans. So let's go and trade for that. No, that's pretty good. Seems like everything's set up. We'll be waiting uh, to get someone, fascist demagogue here. This guy, John Beckett. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to move quickly through... Uh, popularity to get fascists into power because as uh, the British we actually have a uh, British Toysim Toysim uh, God damn it Stoikis something along these lines uh, and that actually defend drift by 50% so it's actually slows a lot the uh, general drift of ideology and we also have the war to end all war which uh, means we have very, very, very terrible, stable population because, uh, you know, a lot of people die in the Great War and people don't want to get yet another Great War. So that's pretty cool and dandy. We'll live with that. So let's call this one British. British, no, let's just call it Home. That's good. Uh, we'll just set up our line of defenses here. We'll probably build more units and decide exactly what we're going to do with them. We're gonna have OM2 here. Let's line them up too. Like that. Sounds great. And we'll actually set both of these divisions to uh, exercising. 
We do have very nice generals and all of that around here. That's pretty nice. Out of supply, that would be great. So let's set him up to exercise. Let's just assign some random generals because we have very good generals out of nowhere as the UK because everybody knew the UK had such great generals and stuff. All right, we actually have 12 fleets here and one division there. This one, uh, just set them up to, oh, we actually need to build uh, an army group. Let's set up a new theater. Let's call this one Europe for whatever reason. Europe, and you will just defend yourself here. Gonna defend the rock. All right, so that's it for Gibraltar. Now we got some units down in Africa. We'll actually use up against uh, the Italian. So let's just create a new one. Oh, so many troops with the, uh, the British. This one will be Africa. Africa. And of course, we're going to set in uh, a field marshal or something. You know, why not Bernard Montgomery? I don't know why. Sounds like he's, he's fit for the job. He's not that great, but he's going to get a lot of supplies. So he should be doing good. I'm just going to line up my troops, start building up some battle plan. I do have some troops down south here. Uh, that will be ready to invade into Ethiopia and all of that. So let's uh, create a new army group. A new general again. Just, oh, uh, god damn it. Just raise that. Just line up here. And uh, we'll just use that division like that to uh, take over the important parts of the land there. And we'll join that division here because we don't really need. We don't really need. What the hell is that? Cannot enter province. Why can't you enter province there? Alright, now it seems to be okay. Whatever. Uh, okay, so that's great. Uh, we got a couple of ships, a few units here from Western Africa. I won't be needing them, so let's move them back to the rock. Let's actually assign a general, you know, just for good measure. And uh, let's... Let's actually, yeah, just draw a front line. That will be better. And set up some grand battle scheme invasion forces or whatever. Line up everybody there. It's going to be great. All right, so that's good for Africa, I think. I don't think I have spare troops anywhere else. That's good. Europe and Africa, whatever. Uh, the British Raj, we can actually use their troop eventually. But that will take a while before we actually do that. So let's just pile up everybody else in the area. Uh, do I still have spare troops? No, these are all my puppets. I do have some troops here. No, these are ships. Okay, so seems like I don't have any other troops available. So I'll just line them up against CM here. Let's just create a new theater. Let's call this one Asia. We're going to have a nice theater around here. No, no Z in Asia. And let's draw up a front line. Let's... Uh, do something like that. And eventually we'll have the help of the British Rash to invade Siam if we plan on doing that. Which we probably will need to eventually because, you know, that's a that's the main goal of our current mission going on here. Let's in logistic. What do we have? We're missing a little bit of infantry and uh, support weapon. But we should be able to be fine on that level. We're trading for oil already. So I think we're ready to speed it up. Let's see what happens now. Uh, I could actually start setting up, wait a minute, that's uh, air view, okay. Yeah, I'll start setting up my ships to do stuff, you know. I do have a lot of Admiral, so that's very nice. So Admiral Arthur Power, you're gonna use the Mediterranean fleet to mm, convoy raiding around here. Is it better to convoy raid or convoy escort? Okay, I'll actually use you to convoy escort. Oh, King George is already dead. That sucks. Died early, I think. Oh well. Part of the game bowl. So let's just uh, patrol around the Mediterranean. The sub fleet. Let's grab you guys. Eight fleets here. Eight subs, I mean. Let's use you guys as uh, patrolling whatever. Let's start raiding convoys. Like that. And all of Mediterranean. I'll 
to just start time really slowly so the units get in places. Uh, we're going to use a level 3 here to do some uh, convoy protection around the lines. I feel like convoy protection is the best mission if you are not submarines because uh, they actually engage combat and protect your convoys which is like the most crucial thing to do. Uh, Channel 4 spouts more. We have big fleets here. Okay, we don't want submarines and we'll merge all these fleet together to channel forces. I'm gonna use one of the bears, the Admiral Andrew Cunningham. I don't know if he was great or not, but it seems like from the game, according to the game, he's really good. So let's line him up, start uh, doing stuff around here. Use the submarine, the fifth flotilla of submarine here to start raiding convoys. Uh, since we'll want to focus on two of these uh, friendly, friendly Germans, we'll just uh, start moving around wherever we can just to raid some convoys. That would be great. We got 14 more ships here, a lot of destroyers, so we will good put a good uh, admiral here, and we're going to uh, convoy protect around here, maybe in case there are some submarines showing up, you know. That's the kind of thing Germans are doing. Just gonna protect the line, the shipping lines here. Uh, we got some more destroyers here, three small destroyers. Yeah, I think I'll just group them up into another fleet because I don't feel like three destroyers is enough. Here we got eight destroyers. Let's line them up with these 16 here so we have a more efficient fleets. Alright, what do we have here? We got some submarines and uh, some destroyers, some light cruisers, everything. We got a big fleet here. Can actually group up everybody, put a good general here too. Uh, James found Somerville sounds like a great name to lead that fleet. And that fleet will actually just lean back and be used as a main invasion force or whatever we want to plan to do with them. We only have three admirals left, so let's use uh, this admiral, Henry Hardwood, to start raiding some convoys. Uh, where can we raid convoys in an efficient way? Probably in the middle of the Atlantic. We'll probably catch some stuff here. So that will be it for them. We got now some uh, nice little ships here. Uh, these guys. That's South Atlantic Fleet. Uh, you won't get a leader or whatever. South Atlantic Fleet. You'll just protect convoy around... Africa, the Cape of Africa and such and the submarine you will just uh, start raiding uh, around here, around Brazil's coast uh, we'll see if that will be good we got a somewhat good fleet here that we can use to maybe just cover up uh, our fleets or convoys that may eventually pass there I don't know, we'll just assign a fleet there We'll see what we do with them later on. Uh, okay, what other fleets do we have that are not being used at the moment? We have the own fleet here. We do have a fleet right there. A couple of light cruisers. Uh, that's the S Indies fleet. Okay, we're going to just use them to uh, cover up some shipping lanes around here. Western Indian Oceans and uh, the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf. We got some more fleets here. We got a nice submarine flotilla. Let's just uh, create a new fleet with all destroyers because we don't really need these destroyers in the same fleet as the submarines. And we're actually going to put a good admiral on that submarine fleet. That's the fourth one. And let's start raiding convoys around East China Sea, uh, South China Sea, and probably uh, Strait of Malacca. Uh, we should be good. We should be able to do something. And these guys just uh, protect some convoys around here. That's a pretty bad fleet, but that's the only fleet we have. So we'll be using it properly. Uh, do we have any unassigned fleet? We do right here. Another group of light cruisers that we'll actually use to uh, protect some shippings around here too. Around the Java Sea, Amor, Tidor, whatever. All these nice places. And i uh, going to set you up home here. I can't. That's probably because it's uh, it's not mine. Alright. That's uh, level 2 in Borneo. That sounds like a great place to be. 
And do I have any fleet left? I don't have any fleet left, but we have a very good coverage of the oceans. Uh, yeah, that's pretty satisfying to see. So let's keep uh, the time going. Can I actually probably assign an admiral here in the New Zealand divisions? We got some free military factories already. Okay, let's uh, let's line up a lot of infantry weapon because we'll need them. We got some free dockyards. Very nice. Let's uh, open up something bigger. Let me build a new battleship. I have two kind of battleships. And how come I have two kind of battleships? What's the difference? That's what I dislike about this. You don't really understand the difference. Anyway, I know uh, evasion is like the king of the skills here. It seems like the Nelson class has better fire range and evasion. So evasion, evasion, what, what? evading skills. Let's just go on in this way. So we'll just uh, build some of them. Let's build three and let's use them into... Uh, wait, actually, we need to assign a fleet here for the light cruiser. Let's go to East Indies. And this fleet will actually join the uh, South Atlantic fleet. Uh, we don't really need. It will be fun to see what's actually in the fleets there. We've got American and West Indies fleets, so we still have one fleet left. Let's go for a uh, western f approach, fleet, whatever. And where's my fleet around here? Come on, tell me where's my fleet. Uh, here's the uh, West Indies fleet. America's in West Indies fleet. We don't have any uh, admiral ready, but we will do some convoy protection around all that area here. Alright. Actually, I don't really care about uh, let's just take that area where we'll probably have some shipping going on uh, should be able to defend against the Germans submarines if we do some trading with Canada and the US that looks nice I guess we can go to the next page oh we will issue a, an objection against the remilitarization of the Rhineland nothing to get too worked up about we actually got a brand new focus to select can only grab a motorized army at this point. Hmm. That's still be good, but I need some world tension to do the rest. At least 5% for shadow schemes, so let's go grab that. Hopefully we have a uh, 5% or more as soon as we finish that research. Let's go to speed four and let's uh do some nice plain stuff, whatever. Let's line these up and interception around the UK, Southern England, uh, tactical bomber, I'll actually, actually, actually use you in the uh, Benelux region, do some bombing and stuff, port strikes, Spanish Civil War just blew up, and seems like world tension went down, now it's one, okay, whatever, we'll see what happens later on, alright, so we'll send these to Northern France, probably have a terrible reach let's just use them in the English Channel so we actually defend against any kind of naval bombers and such uh, where else do I have unassigned fleet of planes and whatever right here so let's use them up hmm okay we can actually see who's being used and who's being not used let's just line up everybody around Let's close some of these. And actually, these guys are all being active, right? Okay, cool. Northern England is just uh, do interception, air superiority. Do I have any other planes around here? I don't have any other planes. I can build, uh, I can get some planes down in Spain if I need to. I can get a lot of planes in uh, Malta. And also have some here. Okay, these these will be useful. I'll be uh, leading the main charge against. Uh... Okay, so I guess they cannot attack right now. Let's use them all in Malta and then North Africa, and they'll do some good stuff around to uh, undown the Italian. When we will inevitably get at war with them, there's some 32 air support here that we want to move around probably probably around here down in southern Egypt 
Just to use them in that region. They're coming from Palestine. It will be in East Africa, so let's do some stuff around East Africa. Alright, nice. Uh, we got some more planes right there. In uh, Malaya, Singapore. Whatever this place is. We'll be using them in Southeast Asia. So we actually deal some damage to our future enemies in the area, I guess. Uh, okay, let's see. Do we have any spare planes laying around? We do in Yorkshire 80 bombers. A lot of fighters, some bombers. Let's use them in the North Sea to fight and intercept whoever. Tactical bomber, we will move them into northwestern Germany. We've got a good reach in there, and we've got some naval bomber to use right here to attack ships and ports. If you find any ports in there, uh, pretty good. Let's see now. Ships, that's good. We only have one duck ship. No, we got a couple of duck ships. We got eight destroyers. That's actually okay. We got some ships in southern China. We got a Chinese fleet. Right, let's just uh, grab real quick a Chinese fleet to do something with them. Let's use them to protect trade. I guess protect trading around here, the Philippines, Bismarck Sea. Who owned these? That's all Japanese land. Okay. I'm still gonna use them properly. Don't worry. And Army 6, we need to put someone. Let's put that general. Alright, well folks, this is Jay. Hopefully you've enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like, share, and a comment. Make sure to subscribe for more. See you next time.